Well, Mr. Secretary and all of our distinguished guests, before I sign this bill and then hand the signing pen to the Secretary of Labor and others will be available to all of the guests here so that you can have a memento of the occasion, I would like to respond to the remarks of the Secretary. Uh, we have perhaps one of the most important pieces of legislation to pass in this Congress, but as the Secretary of Labor has already indicated, probably one of the most important pieces of legislation from the standpoint of 55 million people who will be covered by it ever passed by the Congress of the United States because it involves their lives. 12,500 people lost their lives in accidents in America's factories and in other places of business. And over two million people were injured. This bill, bill deals with that. It goes beyond that. It deals with the environment in which the people, the 55 million Americans who are covered by it, will be working. And it provides for an institute which will look into the problems of the environment, the problems of noise, uh, the, the problems of cleanliness, all of these things that can affect health in an indirect way. And so it is, as the Secretary has indicated, a landmark piece of legislation. And so we see a bill that represents in its culmination the American system at its best. Democrats, Republicans, the House, the Senate, the White House, business, labor, all cooperating in a common goal the saving of lives, the avoiding of injuries, making the places of work for 55 million Americans safer and more pleasant places. This is certainly a great goal. Today is a day when we can all be proud. The Congress can be proud. The Senate, the House, the Republicans, the Democrats, and of course the administration. And we thank you therefore for your part in making it possible for the President of the United States now to attach his name to a bill that took so many hours of work, represents so much devotion, and that's going to do so much good for so many...